Rudy Kazimakis will be the first man to bowl in the first frame on lane number seven in our final championship match. $15,000 to the winner. A $7,500 difference in winning and losing this particular match. And the big cranker from Hicksville, New York. Begins with a strike. Steve, that's the Rudy we've seen the last two days. And as you hear in the background, it's Rudy, 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 Rudy. And now the pride of York, Pennsylvania, Tony Lewis. Who won his match 234 to 186 in the semifinals. He likes to put together strings of strikes, and he ignores what his opponent does. He just goes right up there, we're even. He's just taking a Sunday stroll, Steve. No emotion. He throws those strikes. One thing he loves about the high roller tournaments, he says, point blank, they are fair, pure and simple. That's a high compliment to a prestigious tournament that puts a lot of money on the line. Big hook. Big strike. Steve, I think both Rudy and uh, Tony learned something. Maybe in the practice, they went much wider on lane seven. The ball came back stronger. Now, Rudy Kazimakis working on a strike in the second frame. Two has a double. Shot. Exactly as you said, they come out very wide on those boys. And Steve, all the, excuse me, all the boys call him Rudy Revs. Rudy Revs is his nickname. Partially because he says his mouth revs up quite a bit. He's a good talker. Pulls a lot of action. Loves one gamers. turkey time. He already has more strikes this game than he got in the first game, which he won. This is the final match. For all the money. $15,000 first prize here at the Fairlanes High Roller. And Tony Lewis, who's on a double, will try to keep pace. Straighter ball, still does the job. Steve, they're both out. Closer to the channel, where there's less oil, they get more back in, they get more carry. Six shots, could not have been any better. It's all even. This is his third high roller tournament. Four-bagger with an excellent mix for Tony Lewis. And so the dry cleaner from York, Pennsylvania is off to a great start here in the finals of the High Roller Tournament. And both these men keep it up, throwing a minimum of shots. Only the first one is necessary. Look at all the exits. So far, everybody is perfect. Rudy Casamacas has a turkey going in his fourth frame and a four-bagger for Tony Lewis. Both these men 24 years old. This man is married and has two children. He's had 25, 300 games. Thank you very much, he says to the eight pin as it cooperates. Strike for strike through four frames. Both bowlers. Now watch if you'll notice, this ball does not go as wide as the last one. Therefore, it doesn't hook back quite as much, but he gets all that action, and the eight pin goes last. He had four messengers. He owns a pro shop. 
And the publicity from this will certainly help increase business, you can be sure. There is poker face Tony Lewis watching his opponent. Oh, ooh, that bounced. When you're hot, you're hot, and nothing's going to prevent it. He bounced that shot on the approach. His trajectory was still right. It still created a lot of revs on the ball, so it came back just as he expected it to. Not really that good a shot, but it worked out fine. Tony Lewis with a four-bagger, trying to match his opponent with five consecutive strikes. Messenger just missed the 10 pin, and that ends the stream. We call that the weak 10 pin. Ball came in a little late, not getting quite the action that he's been getting. Leaves the 10 pin. The key after that is to make the spare. See, that's the key to the bowling and he leaves it open. So now Tony Lewis will go down to his opponent. He's down by 23. He knew he missed it when he let it go. That could mean the difference too. After you have your string broken, you gotta forget it. You must forget it. It's tough to forget it when the other man's lined in though like Rudy is. Well, Tony Lewis begins another string, he hopes. Now the likable Rudy comes up on the approach. When he's hot, he can really play to a crowd. And he also plays to the pins. They listen to him tonight. The type action that you just saw in the last shot is the way the pins have been carrying for Rudy all week. In the seventh frame, he's up by 33. And this man tells me that he does not play the tour because he's not good enough. <laughs> this youngster has his work cut out for him, Tony Lewis, who started with a four-bagger and has a 300 in this tournament, but he left an open in the fifth frame. Very light, a two on goal. For the most part, in this final match, both men have been out near the channel and getting good follow-through, good carry. But it stopped for Tony. That's Ferris cover. At this point, Tony can strike out for 247. Rudy is working on a 250 game if he just stays clean. strike now. Do I detect a smile in Rudy there? He exudes confidence. That's the shot that he began the final round with. He knows he must strike, Steve. He must strike out. And of course, Rudy would have to have some trouble. Anything can happen, as we've seen already in these matches. You're looking at Jennifer and Anthony's daddy, Rudy Kazimakis. Wife Nancy's here, cheering him on. That 
for special delivery. Perfect through eight. A great shot here, a lot of power, a lot of turn, and the messenger comes across to get the 10 pin. Ninth frame, here it comes, here it comes. Eight in a row before the seven is left standing. Rudy and Nancy, his wife, are avid baseball fans. Rudy roots for the Mets, and Nancy roots for the Yankees. He leaves it open in his ninth frame. I think after we head to the ninth frame that she's not, she'd give up all Yankee victories as long as her husband hangs on for this. That's correct. He has 257 with a clean 10th. Tony still needs to strike out to get 247. Well, now he has a chance to do something spectacular. The dreaded swishing 710. A good hit. Ball comes in a little late behind the head pin, resulting in the 710. If he converts it, it'll be a shot long remembered on this broadcast. He didn't even try. No, Normally a bowler in a key where he has to make it would throw the ball very hard, hoping it would bounce out. He resigned himself to the open, got the seven pin, can now do no better than 215. Well, the difference between winning this particular match and coming in second is $7,500. We have a total purse of $170,595 for these bowlers, including some of the side events in the VIP. And people have a lot of ways to cash. The 10th frame here for Tony Lewis. If he strikes, he'll have 205. The striking machine just didn't stay with Rudy today. Rudy knows if you're going to leave an open in the ninth frame, do it with that kind of lead. 52 pins. <laughs> nice finish for Tony Lewis. A 205. Rudy Kazimakis. He continues high. What a foundation in the 10. He can go out for 267. He had eight consecutive strikes to start this final round and finally buried Tony Lewis. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Well, from a man who at one time was in a tournament, as we mentioned, had his bowling ball just absolutely break apart, and he still continued to use it. Came in third in the tournament. <laughs> Finishes in style. You can see his fans from the North Jersey area. Included in that group is young Jimmy Johnson, son of the great PBA Hall of Famer, Don Johnson. And there's Rudy Kazimakis, the happy winner of the High Roller Tournament. He defeats Tony Lewis. And earlier, for third place, Jerry Pinksa was a winner over James Berazzoli here at the High Roller. Big money for the top four places. And the final score, Rudy Kazimakis 257, Tony Lewis 205.